comments might be strong, but it's how I genuinely feel. Um, I don't care that you're a Christian. I don't care what the Bible says. Like I feel like it's a clown show, like sitting here trying to decipher what your little mythical book has to say about these very real political issues, right? I don't care if you're Christian. In fact, I will fight for you to have your religious liberty and practice your Christianity. I believe in that. I don't believe in Christianity, which means that you do not get to dictate the way I live my life based on your religion. I don't care what the Bible says. You have every right in the world, all those women who identify with your religion have every right in the world to not get an abortion, to not take birth control. But they do not have the right to dictate my life and what I decide to do with my body. I don't care about your religion. I'm so tired of having nonstop conversations about what the Bible says. You live your life in the way that you interpret the Bible. Again, I don't care, but you don't get to take the Bible and tell me, well, the Bible says this in this chapter in this verse, I don't care. I don't care, I don't believe in it, and I have the right based on our constitution to not believe in it. Okay, so you don't believe in the Bible. Where do you get your understanding of rights? You're making a lot of moral judgments and yet you have no foundation to back up the validity of those moral judgments. You say my body, my choice, but we know the child in the womb is not just your body. It's not just another organ, it's different. Different feet and fingers, organs and DNA, this is not your body. You believe that life in the womb isn't valuable or worthy of protection, but according to your worldview, why would life outside of the womb be valuable and worthy of protection? After all, we're just stardust bumping into stardust, it's just survival of the fittest anyway. But you know that's not true, you know life is valuable, and yet you refuse to acknowledge it in the context of the womb to absolve yourself of responsibility. You reject objective morality when you dispose of the Bible, and you're just left with what you personally believe, but that foundation will not last. And when you're consistent, it leads you to a very, very dark place. And by the way, the Bible isn't just some mythical made up book. We have numerous, numerous manuscripts from the original text, eyewitness accounts, fulfilled prophecies. It doesn't get any more substantiated than that. Even secular scholars will marvel at the Bible and how robust it is in how it all connects. This isn't just random things that people came up with. This is God's revealed word to us and it enlightens us to the truth. Jesus said that he is a way the truth and the life. And we need to cling to him for salvation, for truth, for understanding. There's obviously a lot of hostility towards Christians about the issue of pro-life, but it's very clear in the word of God why this is. The world loves death because it is the opposite of Christ. Jesus said that he is the life. So the world will love the darkness and they rejected the light. It's only God that can change our hearts and draw us close to him. And that's what we should all be praying for, not just fighting with arguments and, you know, oh, this is why this is, you know, just apologetics, but rather that we should engage people with the gospel as well, because it is the gospel that is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. So don't get too caught up in the arguments and trying to just convince people that abortion is wrong, even though it is, but remember the gospel. That's what we're trying to lead people to, to find redemption, to find transformation. That's what keeps me going.